Rooting. Wow, that was really fast. First off with this image is it is in French. I believe it's in system options here. Percent. Language. Francais. Let's just go over here. Italiano. Espanol. English. Great. Go down to here. Press back. Gotta do a quick little reboot to get back into English. Very simple to do. Follow those steps there. I hit start on my controller, system options, language. Now we're in English. That easy. Don't be discouraged by that this was built by somebody who speaks French. I've actually noticed that a lot on the on the recall box images I've seen out there. Um, I, I guess it's pretty big in France, so you're going to see that fairly often. And as you can see, we're good. We now have English. So, Super Nintendo, 277 games. Nintendo Entertainment System, 207. Nintendo 64, 84. Game Boy Advance, 219. Game Boy Color, 154. Game Boy, 358. Nintendo Famicom. 87. Game & Watch, for those of you that like those little games, 50 games. Sega Mega Drive, also known as Sega Genesis, Mega Drive in UK, Genesis in the US, 375 games. Uh, Sega Genesis 32X or Mega Drive 32X, 15 games. Sega Master System, 247. Sega Game Gear, 144. Sega SG, 1060. PC Engine, 227. Nice, 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 uh, nice selection. Five games in the super graphics. And uh, the, the Libretro Final Burn Alpha games, 143. That's going to be your, and then MAME, 300. Neo Geo, 148. Wow, there's a lot of games on here. 86 Atari. 7800, got 57. Cave Stories, we got three. MSX1, I think this is MSX1 and 2, because 2 plus is here. So we can look at that, 264, MSX2 Plus, 98, Odyssey, 74. Wow, a lot of games on here. So let's take Super Nintendo, for example. I mean, Super Nintendo, you got the box art, you got all the information. So some of the information is in, I think this is French. If you did want to scrape this the box art or add to the descriptions, what you'd want to do is just connect your Pi to the internet. Go ahead and click start and go down here to scraper. When you go to scrape now, uh, you can go ahead and select the systems you want to scrape. So deselect the ones you're not interested in scraping and select the ones you are. And then you can say only the ones missing things or do you want to go through all the games again and just re-scrape all of them. So you do have that, that capability. It's fairly easy if that's something you want to do. So continue to check out these games. As I mentioned, you've got some great titles here. Darius, you got Die Hard. You got a lot of Japanese titles as well, which is cool. Galaga. Nice. Okay, Super Graphics, you got five games. Libretro. Final Burn Alpha, Alt Alien Storm, Altered Beast. I can already tell you right now, there's some good games on here. Wow. So, um... There you go. We got Metal Slug on here. One, two, three, four, five, and X. Nice to see those. We got Nom, 1975. Uh, I like this game, Neo Geo Drift Out. That's typical for Neo Geo. Select does insert coins. Pressing start. All right, here we go. Triple A. You can call me and I'll tow your car. Go with the Celica. Bring it on. Ready? Using the Xbox 360 controller, it was auto detected when I booted up. It's a good controller to go for. Um, the controls are a little different with. Um, the controls are the same, 
but the um, the way you configure the controller is a little different, but you would hit start and then go to configure controller, and there's a way to do that. The other thing is the hot key here to quit the game is usually the center button on the Xbox. I believe it's center and select. It's select, it's the hot key plus start, exiting me out. Okay, so Neo Geo works. Um, Atari, oh, is I on Neo Geo? Oh, okay, I want to check the retro as well. Try Gunbird. Sometimes people have issues with the, with the Final Burn Alpha and the main system's not working or the pathing's not working or something's up with it. The controls, maybe. So select work again. Gunbird, great game. Great shoot 'em up. I always use my special ability to start, because why not? Uh, and this is running great. No issues at all. Hey, yo. Power. Give me that power. Out. Leave these engineers alone. That, that engineer needs to go on a diet now. Did you see that? All right. Okay, we exit out. So we got Final Burn Alpha running. Good. I, I have no doubt that all the other systems are going to run. Um, Atari, Atari, Atari. I want to see MAME. So let's. Um, Alien Syndrome, Aliens, all good games. So get bad dudes is on here versus Dragon Ninja. You got Batman. So you got a nice little collection. Battletoads, great game. I keep I hate keep hitting right. Sorry guys. Captain Commandos on here. Entra. Donkey Kong. So people like to see if it has the sound effects on here or not. Let's see. Also, it's just going to test whether the. Uh... Alright. So, you're not going to want. You're not going to be interested in this for the epic gameplay, the pro level gameplay, but uh, we're just going to see if it works. How high can you get? So, I'm going to skip the hammer because I want to go as fast as I can. I got stuck on that ladder. Oh jeez. <laughs> that was luck right there. Can I do can I do a double jump? Nice. Okay, this is where it died. <sighs> okay, so eventually you gotta move. That's just that's a life lesson for you. If you just stand still in one place, you will eventually die. So stop being complacent and move around. Okay. Cool. So that works. So we got we got the arcade working. We got Final Burn Alpha working. We got Neo Geo. Um, we got the Ataris. Not really interested in that. You got three cave stories. Uh, MSX and then MSX Two. So let's just do. A lot of people seem to be interested in MSX Two. Let's just go ahead and go into one. And see if that's working. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's working. Nice. Push space. Asphalt jump. That's a good name. Look at that jump. Oh, do I have to go down? Oh, okay, it's a touch screen. Oh man, these things move so slow. Look at that jump though. Machine gun or normal gun? Yeah, let's go machine gun! Do you have ammo? Jump. Jump. Oh, oh, almost died there. Come on. Come on, dude, dude. These controls, though, are a little difficult. Oh, man, that gun is pretty uh, smart. We made it. Okay, so as you can see, MSX2 working as well. Got Odyssey. 
I think I need a keyboard for this, so I'm not going to load it. But it looks like you got a lot of Odyssey games. Wow, a lot. Nice collection of Odyssey. Okay, and then that brings us back to Super Nintendo. And again, we also have Game Boy Advance, Color, regular Game Boy. Let's just check. Uh, um, we got Super Famicom. We got Indiana Jones. We have Excite Bike, though. Big one. We got Metroid. We got the Sega Genesis Classic Series. We got some Mario's. I did not see Excite Bike. Exciting Baseball. Okay, so you have to get go for a different system for that. Game and Watch. Those are these type of games right here. Got quite a few. Donkey Kong. Got the Mickey game. Nice. Yeah, there's the Mickey game. Yeah, so quite a few game and watches. And then Sega, you've all seen that before. But there you have it. Um, the other thing is it does have Cody as well. I think if you just hit your, your hotkey button, that loads Cody. See the hotkey in X, I think. Hotkey and Y. There it is. Hotkey and Y. Do you want it? Yes. Let's go ahead and go into Cody. Just to show you guys that it does come pre-installed with Cody as well. One other detail that I just noticed is underneath each system, it tells you what, what units were sold, the best-selling game, year release. You see that over here? Uh, on it, it's either one of these ways, and uh, a pretty little nifty little detail that I thought was kind of cool. So there you go, 16 gigabytes. This is a small image. The reason I like these little small images is because we all have these small SD cards running around our house, so it's a good image to just plop on to give to a friend to have an extra, put it you know in in one of your extra pies or whatever. It's just so cheap and budget that you could just throw them around. It's all it's all good. It's not one of these really expensive SD cards. That you have to have a little more investment in. Out of the box, it was ready to go. Really pleased with that. You did have to change the language, but that's such a small detail where some of these other images require you to install drivers and all this other stuff um, and packets. So ready to go. Um, it's not fully loaded. What they did was they trimmed the fat down. There's no video previews, and they didn't give you the full collection of games. You know, like Super Nintendo has over 700 titles. They only gave you like three or 400 of them. Same thing with Nintendo and many other of the other systems, including the arcade and the Final Burn Alpha. I'm really pleased with the breadth of consoles on this for the 16 gig. You usually notice the 16 gig is like bare bones, like, oh, we're just gonna give you the Nintendo and Sega consoles. But no, this kind of goes above and beyond. So for those reasons, this gets two thumbs up. Cool image to check. I'll put links in the description below to help you out to get it running. If you have any questions, please comment. Like this video, share it on the forums, Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.